doing? That, that's tomato juice. That looked like milk to me. Jerry, my rods and cones are all screwed up. All right, that's it. I gotta move in with you, Jerry. I don't know, Kramer. Uh, my concern is that living together after a while, we uh, might start to get on each other's nerves a little. And he just. Is this oregano? Look at me. I'm all covered in oregano and parmesan, and it's sticking to me because of the butter. I'm gonna turn in. Turn in. Yeah, I had a tough day. It's only nine o'clock. Well, you know, I don't argue with the body, Jerry. That's an argument you can't win. I can't go to sleep at nine o'clock. Well, you can go to your room and read. Hey, look, you know, you're the one who's locked out. I'm letting you stay here. You're wearing my bathrobe. You should adapt to me. But I'm tired. Oh, why don't you go sleep at Newman's? Oh, he's got a girl up there. His quilt is too thin. Oh, I'm gonna get cold. I'm on this couch. I don't even know if I'm gonna sleep. Well, that's all I've got. Well, can I sleep with you? Huh? Oh, you got that big, uh, comfortable bed and that nice warm quilt? Kramer, there's no way you're sleeping with him. Look at you. Why don't you do something with your life? <laughs> Sit around here all day. You contribute nothing to society. <laughs> You're just taking up space. <laughs> I mean, how could I be with someone like you? <laughs> and respect myself. God. Oh, God, what happened to you? She tried to kill me, Jerry. Who? Connie. What did she do? I don't know. But I woke up in the Hudson River in a sack! I think she drugged me. But she's a murderer, and I'm calling the cops. Why would she try and kill you? Oh, isn't it obvious? She doesn't want anybody else to have me! <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should call this off. Oh, come on, what's the big deal? We're just gonna put a little concrete in the washing machine. <laughs> to hearing about George's man love for a ginger. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! That's the idea! You left a message on... Where's the blood? It's in here, isn't it? You stop it. What is this? It's jello. <laughs> about this? This is blood, isn't it? This is tomato juice, look. Oh, you're sick! You're sick! Will you calm down? I took all my blood down to Newman's. He let me put it in his meat freezer. Are you drinking that milk? Yeah. What's the expiration date on that? September 3rd. The 3rd? The 3rd? The third. I have a Brutski, Charlie. His name's Mitch. Well, there's nothing like a cold one after a long day, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah I've been known to drink a beer or two. But then again, I've been known to do a lot of things. Cigarette? No, no, I never touch one. I suck them down like Coca-Cola. 
Well, here's to feeling good all the time. Operation. Oh, yeah, routine surgery. Now he's sitting around in a chair by a window going, My name is George, Whatever you do, don't let him touch you. Oh, yeah. come over. Tonight's pipe night. What happened to your face? It looks like an old catcher's myth. <laughs> face is all craggly. It's crinkly. It's from all that smoke. You've experienced a lifetime of smoking in 72 hours. What did you expect? Emphysema, birth defects, cancer, but not this. Jerry, you know, my face is my livelihood. Oh, I, everything I have, I owe to this face. It's my allure, my, my twinkle. You know, and your, your, teeth, your teeth are all brown. Look away, I'm... I'm hideous. 